there. Okay. Thanks everybody for hopping on our team chat. It is Tuesday, October 9th, and this call is gonna be a little bit different than previous calls, um, mostly because we have some exciting things to share with you guys, as well as some announcements and changes, and I wanted to also talk a little bit about inviting. Um, because I am leading, right, I feel like it's my responsibility to give a little bit of tough love. And I'm going to pull up our Success Club report for September. And when I say that, I also want to note that there was a glitch in Sindel's account. So Sindel would normally be and is normally always on this report. But let's see. Here it is. Can everybody see it for September? You guys, we only had three people on our team hit Success Club. Three. And if I look back at previous months, let's see. There's close to 15 people hitting Success Club. And that makes me so sad, right? Um, and I'm gonna share a story with you guys because I know I know over my entire journey as a coach too, like there are months when it is incredibly hard to hit success club. When you're at the last day and you're literally like, who can I talk to, right? Who can I invite? Um, because it is important. They are, I mean, you don't want to get wrapped up on not hitting success club or like sit in guilt or not even guilt, but like worry about that. But at the same time, if you're on this call, most likely, you are wanting to grow business. And if you, oh, Mexico, who's calling me from Mexico? If you, I'm gonna stop share. If you are here, like, right, that makes sense. Um, you're wanting to grow business. And so that's why I feel comfortable saying this to each one of you, including myself, right? Like, and it's about inviting. Um, and you've gotta have a little bit of tough love because if we're not, helping at least three people per month, you're not growing your business at a hobby rate, right? That's at a hobby rate. Um, and I know a lot of you have huge goals. Um, so I wanna talk a little bit about inviting and I'm gonna share, it's actually a story that I heard in church and I was like, this is perfect because I want you to connect it in two different worlds, in your coach world, as well as if you're a Christian, in your Christian life. And so here I go telling a story. This is probably what makes me the most nervous. Um, there is this farmer or this son, I should say, and he lives in North Dakota. And I'm going to use North Dakota as the place because that's where I'm from. And he grew up in a small town with very small class size, much like the one that I grew up in, in Sindel, right? You can relate to that. And a lot of people wanted to get out of that small town. They wanted to go to college. They had different dreams. They didn't want to stay in the small town. But he was born and raised a farmer. And I think of Kyle when I think of that. Like I just think like Matt Sindel's husband, for those of you that don't know, he breathed the farm, right? That was what his purpose was. And it was part of his family. His dad is a farmer. I'm not using Kyle, but this guy will say his name is John. His, he breathed farming, and that's where he came from. And um, so after high school, he um, decided to go into farming. He didn't go to school. He decided not to go to college because you didn't really necessarily need to. And he just started farming on the family farm, and he became a big part of that. And then one, um, I think it was a, in the fall, there was a big storm. And this big storm came through and there was a flash flood. And his dad was driving home from, I don't know where, but he was driving home and he saw this lady in a river and she was just drowning, right? She was drowning. And so he gets out and he goes into the river, he dives in and he, he gets her 
and he pulls her out of the water, but in doing that, he loses his life. And so John's father died, and that had been the person that he'd followed, the person that he'd run this family farm with, and it, it just destroyed him. He was in a deep depression, and you know, he had now had to take over this whole entire family farm, which is a big job. And so, you know, it was coming up, that had been in the fall, right? So they had already finished their harvest. They were um, going through winter and spring was coming and he was working on his um, tractors. You know, usually in the winter, you're maintaining your equipment. Um, and he maintained his equipment. You know, people were worried about him, right? But he maintained his equipment and come spring, he he bought all of the seeds for his farm, you know, that he needed to plant. Um, and the perfect time to plant went through and he didn't plant the seed. And, but he would talk to people about planting and ask tons of questions, but he never planted the seed and summer rolled around. He had nothing to harvest. So people are like, maybe he's just, you know, still suffering. You know, he's just, he's went through a lot, right? Like you lose your dad and that's hard and you're taking on this entire family farm. So he, you know, still went to the coffee shops. He talked about harvest with everyone and how it was going. He'd come around the next spring, actually in the winter, he purchased new vehicles um, and new tractors, a brand new combine, seating equipment, everything brand new. He used the funds that he had lost or that his dad had left for him when he passed away. And uh, planting season came around and again, he didn't plant. He he let the time pass by, summer went by, people were getting really concerned and he never planted any seeds and never could harvest, right? So he'd spent all this money, all this time invested in um, preparing you know, and buying new equipment and all that, but he never planted and harvested. Next year rolled around, he did the exact same thing. Next year, next year, next year. Every year passed by and he never reaped anything, right? He never planted, he never harvested anything. And people were just like, well, what's, what's he doing, right? And I want you to like think about this. Doesn't that seem crazy, right? He went through all this work, he bought new equipment, he planned and went to the coffee shops or whatever, he talked about farming, he was doing everything but the actual actions that a farmer does. Now think about that, and I'm gonna, in the church sermon, he talked about it as us as Christians. And we go to church and we um, pray and we maybe do devotionals, but we never actually share our faith with anybody. And we're never actually witnesses and sharing the good news, right? We're never actually inviting people into the kingdom of God. And then I was like, this is just like coaching too. And since we're a Christian team, I feel like it connected perfectly. How many of us go to Coach Summit? or show up on team calls, or post on social media, um, and you're doing everything, you're part of the community, which is so awesome, and that is a discount coach, and that is okay, we love discount coaches, but if you're serious and you're wanting to build a business or even a hobby business, you have to be inviting. You have to be inviting people to do this with you. There are people out there that need you. And if you don't, you're letting their life pass by, right? I know that I don't even wanna think about the type of person or maybe depression or whatever that I would be in if this, if this opportunity and if this, um, the challenge group community and programs wouldn't have been part of my life and there are people counting on you and I just thought how incredibly powerful to think about it that way in the sense of are you just doing the like fun stuff as a coach but you're not doing the scary things and the scary things are inviting 
That is the scariest thing. Um, those of you that are just hopping on, I hope you go back and listen to the recording because otherwise you'd be like, what is she talking about? But like that is just like that farmer, right? That did nothing. He, he bought all the equipment. He talked the talk. He went to the store. He went to the conferences even that helped him learn, learn about farming, but he never, never planted so he could never harvest. And if you are doing all of this stuff, but you're not inviting, which is the main thing that we do, then you are a discount coach, which is okay. But I know that each, everyone on this call is not a discount coach. That is not what their goal is, right? And there are people counting on you um, to share and to invite them. And most people need to be invited to something. Um, and you have to plant seeds. You have to actually invite once and be okay with them not saying yes and continue to invite. I can't tell you how many people that I've been so scared to invite and they say no, but they eventually join because they think of you. So I hope that in some way inspires you because it definitely inspired me. Um, every time now when I sit down and do invites, that's what I think about. This is part of our job as a coach. This is part of our responsibility. If we want to say we are a coach, then you have to be inviting people to this opportunity and to your challenge groups. Um, and I just pray that you do that because there's people that truly need you and that truly need these groups and these programs to literally save their lives. Um, so it's so important. Does anybody have any like feelings <laughs> before I move on to the next thing? Um, it may have struck a chord or two. Yeah. <laughs> and it's okay if nobody has, like if you're just thinking about it, that's fine too. A picture of you kicking me in the face. <laughs> that's you. But even myself, you guys, like this is our like, it's, I can't tell you, and I'm thinking about like being probably the first three years as a coach. I waited until a, a lot of months, especially the months that I didn't hit success up. I wasn't inviting. Hold on, my is open. I just noticed it. I wasn't inviting until the end of the month because I was like, oh shoot, I gotta like help somebody this month, <laughs> right? <laughs> And it's got to be part of your daily activities or at least doing massive action days. You have to, have to, you have to invite. Like, that's what we do. Like, if you're not inviting, it doesn't, like, that's what we do. That is what we do. Um, so I want to encourage you um, because there were several months in my business that same thing, right? Um, and Every so often that happens, life gets busy, but there's people counting on you. Um, and if you have goals for your business, um, you've got to show up in that, in that area. So. I'm yeah. super guilty of this, Kate. So thank you for the kick in the pants. <laughs> but also the same conversation happened yesterday with my Athlock business. And for once in my life, I didn't go home and like beat myself up to death. I just like said, you know what? you're right. Like I need to get back to the grind. And we talked about like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, this concept of dropping the rope. We use it in Aflac. It's a term of like, drop the rope when you do the invite. So, Hey, invite. If you're not interested, that's okay. Let them off the hook and drop the rope. And nine times out of 10 with that little, like no pressure reminder, they usually come back and say yes. So we use that is a, a tactic in Aflac and I just wanted to say like, and it kind of takes the pressure off you too. Like, you know, I'm not so desperate for someone to join me, you know, yes. move on to the next and it's not a big deal, but, but yes, so very true. I'm here for all of it, but I am not doing the work. So I need to get back to doing the work. Well, Nick, the cool thing is that when you do that too, it holds you accountable to your own wellness goals, right? You're just more, yeah because people are counting on you. And I don't want anyone to leave. Like, just like you said, Ashley, this is meant to like inspire you and be like, yeah, this is, I've got a purpose. Like this isn't success club points. These are people, right? These are people that you've been put in this position as a coach. Um, 
by God. I truly believe that for a reason. And there's people behind that reason. Um, and I love that no pressure thing is so key. And it does make you feel like, okay, no pressure. It's okay. And usually they'll respond if they're not interested because you included that no pressure piece. Okay, can I move on to announcements? <laughs> I'm so excited about this part. Okay, so Sindel, Christy, and I have been chatting, and we know, and even I feel like this goes with the whole inviting piece, there's a lot of stuff going on. There are a lot of trainings on Beachbody Champions. There are trainings on other teams. There are it's just hard to get to everything. It's hard to get to personal development, right? It's hard to get to inviting. Um, and we want to bring you the best and most powerful team calls. And so with doing that, it's not about just having a team call every week. It is about helping you grow your business. So we are gonna change the structure from this point forward of our team calls. And we will now be hosting one team call per month. Same time, same place. Um, and we hope to bring in really awesome speakers. We will also be sharing. There'll be people from our team sharing. Um, but we'll be doing one team call per month. Now, that we still want you to reserve this time for your business. And so that's why at the same time, we will be having team-wide power hours or power two hours. So like I always work my business when Charlotte is napping. So there's no reason to still hop on at that time. And I know some of us will be on for two hours. Some can be on for a half hour, whatever time you have to just come on for accountability to be doing the inviting and the starting conversations, not to be posting, you know, you can do the social media stuff and the group planning stuff after you've finished your inviting and the, the phase one activities. Um, but we're going to have these Tuesdays at this time held open for team powwow work sessions. Um, that's a power hour, but it, you know, it's come on and work and you can ask questions. There'll probably be a mini five minute training. Like, Hey, here's a great tip today if you're looking for ways to start conversations or if you want to invite to something cool, this is what I'm doing um, that's working. So there'll be many trainings for that. So we still want you to show up because we, the community part is what's important. Um, and we don't want to lose this every week, but we also want to say, you do have time for your business right now, right? Like during this time. Um, so it's giving you a time to show up for your business um, every Tuesday. Then, any questions about that? Christy. Could you tell us what Tuesday of the month that team call will be? Yes. Um, the team call, I think, moving forward will always be on the first Tuesday of the month. But... I actually have somebody lined up from another team outside of our like sister teams and everything that's going to be leading. I think it's the second Tuesday of the month. So in November, it will be a little bit different. Um, we'll have the first, but I'll be sharing that on the team page. Uh, let me just look to see what day it is. The 12th will be the team call and the fifth will be the power hour power to whatever amount of time. Okay. And anything else? Any other questions? Okay, I'm gonna pull up my notes so that I make sure to share everything. The next thing that we're super excited to bring to you, um, if you guys have seen any of what I've been posting, um, about get fit in the kitsch. Um, I have been working with a nutritionist to create daily and yes, weekly meal plans that are just dinner. So it's just a dinner meal plan for 
clients. And how it works is every Friday, um, and let me pull it up so I can show it to you while I'm talking. I'm just gonna find one that I have. Okay. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So every Friday, a meal plan is delivered to the inbox of all of my clients and now coaches, personally sponsored coaches that are active, which means they either have, um, coaches have to be active, right? 50 PV or more. And um, my challengers, boot campers, have to be active or ordering something that's the value of 50 PV every single month. And I can share, I'll share lingo with you of what I'm gonna start using so that it's not like, you need to be ordering from me in order to receive this. But it goes to their inbox every Friday. And what it is, is it's a meal plan. So you can see um, the dinner meal plans for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday through Sunday, right? And they can pick and choose. Obviously, it's not like you have to use this, but it's being delivered to them. It's created by a nutritionist. It has the recipes. Um, like this one, this was yesterday's recipe. I did not do this one, but I was, people were like, oh my gosh, this is so easy. It looked, literally took me like 10 minutes to put together because I already had the chicken cook. Like easy recipes with few ingredients um, that are healthy, that have the portion fix with them. Um, and just something different. So how it works, if you look at the recipe, Friday has like the letter E beside it. That way, when they go to the grocery list, they can choose, I'm just gonna do Mondays and Tuesdays meals. Those look the best to me. Or I'm just gonna do every meal, that's fine too. But they can go onto the grocery list and just pick out the ingredients that they would need for meal E, um, and so on and so forth. So it allows them to, pick out from the grocery list what they want to use. And that's like my favorite part because while I love the grocery list, usually seven days a week, you're gonna have extras. Like there's no way my family can do every recipe of the week. We had way too many leftovers the first week. But um, it's created by a nutritionist, so it can be marketed that way. And it is delivered every single Friday. I send it out at 8 a.m. and um, I pull a list and I have uh, recorded a video to show you how to pull a list um, of people who are active underneath of you. Because that was like the part I was worried the most about was I want this to be a benefit only for people who are actively using the Beachbody products. This is a benefit for working with me, right? This isn't going to everyone. Um, and I even... I'm not sending it to people that have had the extra bags of Shakeology. That would be up to you, right? Um, but I, to me, it's easiest. I have too many people. I just pull a list, and you're either on the list or you're not on the list. Um, because otherwise you get into, like, who gets it, who doesn't, all that jazz. So it has went over super well. It was awesome in my challenge group. Um, we're using it in my boot camp right now that started this month and people have gotten good reviews on it. So I, with starting this, there have been other teams that have done stuff like this. So that's why I was like, I want to try to do this, see how it would work, get an expert in to create the plans because you know, it's just easier that way. I'd rather pay someone to do that. Um, and we can say that it's from an expert. So how do you get access to be able to share this? That is the question, right? Um, I want this to be a team thing, and I want you to be able to share this with your clients, but there are expectations that come with that. And so the first thing, requirement, is you need to be an Emerald Coach. So that means you're growing a business, right? Um, and that means you're working with clients, so you need to be an Emerald Coach. You obviously need to be in my downline or Christy Sindel, our entire downline um, in order to get this. So you can't distribute it to other coaches on other teams. I want this to be exclusive, like something that is just ours. 
Um, you'll see our logos on there, all of that. The other piece of this, so you need to be an Emerald coach, it will cost you $10 per month. I'm paying way more than that to have this created. So you have to have a buy-in because I wanna ensure that it is only going to your clients who are active. And $10 a month is a steal. Any money that would eventually, because I know right away it will not cover the cost to create this, that eventually go over the amount that we are paying for it will be put into a team fund. I'm not looking to make money off of this. It would be put into a team fund to use for prizes, to use for team dinners, to use for team things. So it'd be super cool to say, we're going to give away, I mean, someday an iPad, you know, like that's super dreamy, but like, how cool would that be to say like, this is your challenge for the year. Who's going to win this? Um, or little prizes throughout the month. So that'd be the long-term goal, right? To be able to have that. But for a while, it would never cover those costs. So it's $10 per month to distribute it. Now, my coaches will still get it as a client, right? Because I'm their coach. Um, so you can um, get it. You just can't distribute it. <laughs> um, but like, it just depends on what and how you want to use it. And how it will work for the remainder of the year is you'll pay $20 to get November and December. And that's a great opportunity to trial it to see if it's something you want to continue to do. Um, and there'll be a contract just because I want to make sure it's only being shared with the right people, right? Because I feel that that's super important. Um, so that will be coming to you. And then starting in January, you can sign up for the whole year. Um, cause I don't want to have lists of people. I don't want to have to maintain you either want it or you don't. Right. And the cost of it is cheaper than what somebody would pay for something like this for just themselves. So it's a super awesome deal. If, if you want to use it for your clients, you also don't have to. Um, but I think it'd be super cool to have this get fit in the kitchen hashtag. I've already bought the domain. Right, so this is like a name that hasn't been used that we can brand as our team's um, nutritional program that um, you can offer to your clients. So there will be more shared on that in the next week or two because it will start in November. Um, the first one would be distributed to your inbox on, shoot, I thought I wrote it down. I think it's the second, it's the first Friday in November. So be on the lookout for that if you want to sign up for it. Um, if you sign up after that date, it would obviously be prorated. We just would have to figure out what that cost would be. So we're super excited to bring that to you guys um, and hope that that helps you retain um, individuals that want, you know, with Shakeology. The goal is to retain customers, right? We want to provide more value than others are. Um, and that is kind of our goal. Any questions? Okay, next thing, this is the last thing, and this isn't as big of a like change, but um, we haven't had a coach sneak peek for a long time, a coaching sneak peek. I think it's been two months, um, partly because I know that, I know I've talked with Christy and Sindel, I feel like the excitement from the sneak peeks I haven't, has died a little bit. Um, and the amount of people I've had join the team from the sneak peeks has went down. And you wanna know why? That's because I haven't been inviting to it as much. So I'm just calling myself out. I'm great at inviting to challenge groups, not the best at inviting to the coaching opportunity. And that is where I want to grow. And that's where we all should grow. And I wish I would have done this like the first year of my business, right? Because this is where like your truly life changing opportunity is, is in growing your team and your coach and having that ultimate accountability in your health and wellness. So um, we're gonna try something different this month. I plan to continue it on, but the goal of this is for you to duplicate it. Um, you own your own business. We do team things, which is awesome, and it helps a lot, but you own your own business. And so I encourage you, just like I encourage myself, to host your own coach sneak peek each month. I think it's more fun to team up with a few people, but you need to have something consistent. And so we're gonna switch the format a little bit. 
um, to a meet and greet. And it's gonna be a Q&A live Zoom call. And for those Zoom calls, at least in the month of October, right, we're in October, Sindel, Christy, and I will lead that. And so you're welcome to join in on that. We may call you out, you know, but it's just going to be a place where you can invite people who are interested in coaching to have their questions answered. And we'll be having a form that people can fill out beforehand. You will be in charge of creating your own form where you ask do you have any questions, right, about the coaching opportunity? And we'll show you what we are using um, so that they aren't, you're not like, well, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. So we'll be sharing that with you. Um, so you can literally duplicate it exactly. Um, but it's a live Zoom call. We'll be hopping on. The first call will be Tuesday the 16th of this month at 9 Eastern time, 8 Central time literally conversational obviously there's going to be some structure but the goal is for it to seem conversational and we'll answer questions we will answer the important questions that a lot of people ask whether nobody asked it or not um but i want to have something that requires me to invite and so that's why i think it's important to have show up invite people to the first few that we do but you need to take ownership of your own business and start leading your own or teaming up with somebody else on the team because then it forces you to invite. I can't, and I was pulling in like, when I first started as a coach, the reason I invited so much is because I didn't want to not have anybody in a challenge group, right? I didn't want to be like me and one other person. So I was like, I gotta, I gotta have people join, right? So if I like, Goal is to ultimately do this a weekly meet and greet. Right now it's gonna be every two weeks. But it's like, if I do this on my own with Sindel and Christy as well, it, it forces me because I don't wanna have a Zoom call with one person and be like, this is gonna be some big thing and only one person shows up, right? And obviously it's gonna be recorded for people too, but it's kinda of like that fear of nobody showing up so you invite and that's what i like need in me because that's what gets me going is that fear even if nobody shows up it's okay i'm not gonna hold it like but you have to have that um that's what drives people you have to like you have to want it right you have to want to host your own events you have to want to host your own challenge groups um and so we want to encourage you to pop on to these invite your people to them to the first few, but the goal is duplication. Um, and right now we're thinking we'll have one team one per month, but it will always be led by Sindel, Christy, and I. Um, and then we encourage you to do it, you know, more often, um, depending on what your goals are for your own business. Um, anything to add to that, Sindel and Christy? You guys remember last week when Brie was talking about the thing that like is scary? That's what this stuff is. And that's why we should be doing it. It's freaking scary. And none of us want to do it. But it's the only way we're going to grow, guys. Yep. Anybody else? Any questions about anything? Who's so freaking insane, like, insanely excited about meal plans every week? Right? <laughs> Thank you so much for reaching out to the nutritionist. One of Sarah's questions was how the oh. relationship started. I don't know if you saw that in the chat. No. Um, I actually know a dietitian and I asked her first. She's a challenger in one of my groups. And I asked her first and she's like, I just don't have enough time. The same reason I don't want to do it. Right. But I, I also was like, I want it to come from an expert. And um, she had a contact of a gal that's a nutritionist and she, um, she was like, yeah, I'm game. So I am paying her, which is a steal, $80 per month. Well, I should say 80 to hundred. It depends. It's $20 per week for the plan. Um, and so I'm, I personally am okay with paying eighty dollars per month if nobody else wants to do this because to me it's already benefited my clients 
but I also know like, why don't we team together to do something like this? And, um, that's $10 a month, like really for someone to create all your meal plan. Like people pay that people pay $30 per month for something like that or yeah. more. So, but I think it's a pretty good deal and she's really, really been great. So Kate, yes. Um, in your challenge groups, then how are you sharing that? Are you sharing it over the weekend then? Or so I share it via email and that will be in, I'll, we're going to put together like a little, it's like a contract, but it's more like, this is the way you should distribute it. Cause if it's in your challenge groups, you might have people that don't qualify. So it goes out via email and you'll pull a list from your um, online office that just pulls. And I did a demo video already that shows how to pull that list. It takes maybe two minutes to pull, copy and paste the email addresses. And then I send it every Friday at 8 a.m. So you could just go in at eight and send it to your people at 9 a.m. Um, you know, it's on you to, you know, get it to them via email on Friday because on that plan, it says it's delivered on Friday. So you'd want to just do it that way. So you're not sharing it with everybody in your group, just the people that are purchasing Shakeology or performance line. Yep. Yeah. And I share it in prep week. And I say, those of you who are, um, I got to write, I got to share this lingo with you. I just saw it because Beachbody was using it for something. And I thought it was perfect. Sorry, if you have to hop off, I won't be. Um, they said it this way. And so I'm going to adapt it to work for our meal plans. They said, as a thank you gift to our current monthly nutritional subscribers, we are giving special access to these bonus workouts, right? So you get access to our get fit in the kitsch meal plans created by a nutritionist. You know, and I'll sh I can share that lingo with everybody because sometimes it's hard to say it in a way that's not tacky, right? Or salesy. And that's not the reason. The reason is because we want to thank the people who are staying on Shakeology, you know, that they're doing it for themselves, but they're also supporting our businesses. And that, that means a lot. Um, I know to me, because I have a lot of people that will drop off. Um, so I want to add value and I want you to have another way to add value to those who are active. Active nutritional subscribers, <laughs> however they say it. So I'll share that lingo. I, saw, I copied it. I was like, perfect. I love this. So one um, more question for you. Yeah. So are you kind of doing, are you doing like kind of a sneak peek to give them kind of an idea of what they're missing out on? We have talked about that. What, um, I plan on giving a freebie and maybe it'd be the first one. I feel like I'm echoing there. Uh, the first one that those details are being hashed out. Um, I know we, there will be one freebie, right. Of this particular get fit in the kitsch plan. Um, but I also think it's super powerful to encourage your people. You know, the goal is to like get our hashtag going right on Instagram and you encourage your people to share the recipes on Instagram and then you share them on your, you know, you want to use this as a tool to be like, wait, I want those meal plans. Um, so you could have a, there will be one freebie that you can give away. Um, and then you encourage your people to share within the groups, the recipe. Like I can't even tell you how many people just yesterday's recipe in our group were like, this was awesome. Um, and that people see that, you know, that aren't active subscribers. It worked on me because I saw there was like three different meals. The only one I can remember was like the, it was like a squash lasagna. And I'm like, God, why am I not a part of this group? Oh, I can give, all of these are going to be available to you guys. You know what yeah, I mean? I know that, but this was like a few, like, I was like, oh, that's great. So it's working, right? It's, yeah. it's like somebody posted about it. I'm like, well, I don't do it. So. Yeah. I mean, and I encourage you to like hop on to your stories and like be like, hey guys, you know, show your screenshots of you going through the recipe and sharing like, this is super cool. Like you get the grocery list. I'm making this recipe tonight. Like share all of that. And you know, every once in a while, share a, a, a recipe that you have on your get fit in the kitchen with your Insta story followers, you know, so that it's not like some hidden thing. It's just that they don't get this um, month or this weekly benefit without it. So it's not like those, you know, the recipes aren't like 
you can't find them anywhere. Um, so we want to like tease people a little bit, you know, a little healthy teasing and enticing and letting them see the benefit. So I'm cool with that. Yes. Sorry, I had one more question. I don't know if you'll know the answer to this. Um, I was going to ask Natalie, but she isn't here, but I was watching her story the other day and she was meal planning, like while she was in the car. Are you guys using like a new meal planning format or is that something she created on her own? That must That's be something I saw it too, that she created on her own. Because I was like, that would be another great thing. Like, that was really cool with her containers. And like, I'm like, oh, how'd she do that? Because that's always so difficult for me when I'm doing that. So I will ask her and... Yeah, it'd be cool if like the first time you, subs your first thing, you could also give the person right. a okay. like tool to like meal plan like that. That'd be cool. You should ask her. Yeah, I'll ask her. Christy, you should just ask her to share it on the team page because I didn't see it on her stories, but now I'm really curious. So just... Ask her to do a live on the team page when she gets recovered from her traveling. Yeah, I will do that. I just, I was like watching it and I'm like, what is that? I want it. So I kind of have another announcement. If you haven't been following the coach online office, coach breaking news, which there are tons of new things that came out recently. Um, and we're not going to hit on all of them, but before we go, does everybody realize that if you hit, if you're registered for coach summit, by the end of October, and you hit Success Club in October, November, December, you're going to get an extra $200 to use towards Summit Travel. Like, that's, I can't wait for that. Oh. You have to be diamond or below to start to earn that. Oh, bummer. <laughs> <laughs> it's an incentive for those of us who are working towards something to really get off our ass and get going. Get off your ass. <laughs> so it's diamond or below my husband but i'm i don't really want it. I don't know. he's coming uh but i'm not gonna have him register for summit that's good thank you for that fact but that means it's almost all of us right almost all of everybody and i second kendra's comment <clears throat> boy or girl I know the only reason I haven't shared on social media is because I don't have any cute pic. I need to like take a picture, you know, to like make it because it's like a big deal, right? Or a video or something. It is a girl. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I forget to like share that because I forget that I haven't <laughs> shared it on social media yet, but it's not a it's not. You know, when I had, um, when I announced my daughter, I just did a pumpkin and I had Dylan hold the pumpkin and say, tie a pink bow around the stem and said, it's a girl. Love it. Great. I even have a little pumpkin right here. <laughs> Perfect. Yay. Okay, guys. I think, thanks for hopping on. It ended up being longer, but I feel like we were just kind of chatting about things. Um, and I hope to see you all next week at the same time for our power hour. Okay guys. Bye. Thanks Kate. Bye.